While the Soviet Navy was famously submarine-centric, it had a realization that it needed surface assets to keep Western aircraft carrier battlegroups at bay. Western aircraft carriers' battlegroups would provide a protective bubble for NATO anti-submarine warfare aircraft to do their work. Even today, submarines have no means to fight aircraft, hence the Soviets started investing in bigger and bigger surface vessels. The end result was the Kiro class, a 28,000-ton nuclear-powered cruiser with excellent all-round anti-surface and anti-air warfare systems for its time.